What is going on, guys? Money Webby here, back again on Friday. Got 14 games tonight in the MLB. We have a lot of weather concerns, so that sucks, but I'm going to be avoiding them for the most part, going with the safer games and some really good options for you tonight on this slate with my money six. Two pitchers and four batters to get it done for you here tonight. I apologize for no MLB video yesterday. Just didn't have enough time to research and get a, like a good understanding of the slate and be able to um, make a video about how I felt. So I kind of just didn't make one and back here today though. Feeling really good about it. So go ahead and drop a like in the video if you're ready to win some money here tonight and uh, have some good success here on this slate. So let's get right into it though. First guy up, I'm going to go with Justin Verlander. I'm going to bet on him to bounce back <clears throat> against his Texas Rangers team. Really struggled against them last time out in four innings. Um, only got four Ks, allowed four runs, and only got three drafting points. So I'm expecting a lot better of an outing here. Um, his salary is way down to 10.4K. Um, and he has some good success against his Texas team. He's seen him a lot. He has a 30% K against them um, so far in his career. A huge BVP, like over 300 plate appearances. So he knows how they uh, how they operate. Uh, there's going to be no Adore in this lineup. That can um, limit some lefty power against them. And uh, I think this is going to be a nice bounce back spot for him. And he has a great chance of a win going against Drew Smiley on the other side of the mound. Uh, not a great pitcher at all. And Houston can definitely get after him and give Verlanders some run support here tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my first guy. I'm going to go with Anibal Sanchez. He's really struggled so far this year, um, but he's had two tough draws going against one of the best lineups, in my opinion, in baseball and uh, the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, struggled the first time, only got 2.2 drafting points. Bounced back a little bit um, with 13.4. Um, but he just hasn't been that great. I think this is the time in a really soft matchup for him to have one of those breakthrough performances. He was really good last year, actually. Had a 24.4% K rate. I think he had like a, almost around a 3 ERA, and uh, he was really solid. So against Miami here tonight, this is one of the worst, if not the worst, lineup in baseball, especially uh, a good lineup to target and drafting scoring because they strike out so much. They have a 30.7% K rate. I feel like I'm attacking them every single night, but for good reason. Uh, and Anibal Sanchez, um, they're only implied 3.6 runs against them. So he's a good shot to get him to win here tonight. His first one of the season. I think he'll be pretty motivated. They get it done after those few kind of poor starts to start the season. But this is the spot where he can easily bounce back. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my second guy. I'm going to go with David Dahl. We're going to go to Coors Field. I think this is the first time I went to Coors Field this whole entire year. As uh, they haven't been on the slate really, and yesterday I didn't make a video. So David Dahl, first guy up. This guy loves hitting in uh, cores in four games so far in the season. Two home runs, a double, batting 417 on 11.8 drafting points on average. Finally came back yesterday, so he shook out some cobwebs with that uh, ab injury. Um, got a double, nine drafting points, and he has a really good matchup here tonight. Going against Vince Velasquez, a right-handed pitcher that can uh, be extremely bad when he's off his game. He allows a good amount of power. And David Dow had a 281 ISO versus righties last year. And, then, and at home versus righties, had a 375 ISO and a 449 Woba. So he's extremely good at home uh, versus righties last year. And they're implied 5.7 runs. So David Dow, really good upside, a nice price tag of 4600 I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there. As my first third, and I'm going to go with George Springer, another guy at the top of the lineup, has extremely good upside in this matchup. Going against Drew Smiley, he's absolutely destroyed him so far in a really small BVP, but what he's done in that BVP is exactly what you're looking for. He's three for seven with a double, two home runs, and two stolen bases because he did get walked twice. So if he can get a, like on first base with a walk, he has stolen base ability. If he gets a double, obviously that's a five drafting points could get driven in at seven drafting points um you also can get an rbi maybe at the bottom of the order is on base and he has the power as well with two home runs against them and he's been extremely good against the lefties so far this year he's always had good power against them in his career he has a 474 iso versus lefties so absolutely smashing against them and this is a big park upgrade going to texas from houston as well um, so i think houston can really get after um, Drew Smiley in this matchup, and George Springer is going to be the one leading the way. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there 
as my second hitter. Then I'm going to go with Yonder Alonso. There is some weather concerns in this game, but it's one of the safer ones of the games that do have weather concerns. And Yonder Alonso, um, he's been heating up a little bit recently. Had a double the other night against Detroit, a double and a home run against Kansas City as well. Um, so in this matchup against uh, Zimmerman, this is one of the best BVPs I've seen in the wild just based on what he's done. Obviously, BVP, you don't take it for everything, but it does help to kind of sway you on someone a little bit more. So he's 7 for 18 with two doubles, four home runs, and zero strikeouts. So that's a big thing with the Yonder Alonso is he does strike out here and there. Um, and again, Zimmerman, a guy that doesn't really have great strikeout ability, gives up a lot of home runs. He allowed 1.9 home runs per nine last year to left-handed batters. And uh, we've seen Alonzo, like I mentioned, have some really good pop against him. And they, these are some good hitting conditions. Besides the rain concerns, he's going to be 18 mile an hour winds, blowing to right field, and also 80% humidity. So that's perfect for a lefty power hitter like Yonder Alonzo because the ball is going to carry very well. So if this game does play, I think Alonzo has a really good power upside in this matchup against Zimmerman. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my third hitter. And I'm going to go with some value here with Roman Quinn at 3,300. Really good speed. He had 10 stolen bases last year and just 50 games. So this guy, if he gets on first base, he's probably going to get a stolen base because he has that kind of speed. And this is a game in Coors Field for a guy that's 3,300 and batting six in the lineup yesterday. So he does have some really good uh, ability in this matchup just based on being in Coors Field being in a lineup, I mean, any lineup in Coors Field can go for like 10 runs. So he could get up to four, four bats, five bats maybe if they really go off and uh, have some good RBI chances if guys are on base ahead of him. And uh, like I said, really good stolen base ability. Um, so a 3,300 switch hitter, like him a lot here tonight. I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my final guy. So you got Justin Verlander, Anibal Sanchez, Yonder Alonso, David Dahl, George Springer, and Roman Quinn to round it off. So I hope you enjoyed it. Slap a like if you did. Feeling really good about these plays. Uh, hopefully Yonder Alonso gets to play in that game because I love him in that spot. But good luck here tonight. I will pivot if uh, that game is to, uh, postponed in Detroit for Yonder Alonso. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel to continue to get these MLB drafting picks. And we'll see you back here again next time.